Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Russell with Ink and Paper Blog. Welcome to video three of my holiday gift guide. Um, today we have a special guest, Blanche is here, to recommend some graphic novels for you guys to read or and or purchase for those graphic novel readers in your life for the holiday season. So we might as well get started and you may hear her grunting because I'm uh, petting her head and it's her favorite thing so she snorts a little. The first book that I want to tell you about definitely came out last year, but it's worth repeating that everyone should have Everyone's an Alien When You're an Alien Too by Johnny Sun. Now, Johnny currently has a book out with Lin-Manuel Miranda of Hamilton fame, um, which I'm going to be purchasing for myself when I go on my pals trip at Christmas. Um, but this is an absolutely adorable tale of an alien that comes to Earth and learns about our world. And he learns it from talking to different animals, to different uh, plant life, to different insects. And there's sort of this idea as is he doing his job right while he's here. Um, and it's all about acceptance and learning from each other and taking care of one another. It is adorable. Adorable. This could have gone in my... Um, YA middle grade section too because it has sort of a timely tale for those young readers in our life or those people who like um, to read um, stuff like that but I loved this book and he's great on Twitter and he's great he's got great art um, so yeah so that's everyone's an alien when you're an alien too by Johnny Sun okay the next book is actually a series um, book one and book two in my brother's husband and this is by Gengora Hagame, and I know I'm saying that wrong. I'm really sorry. Um, and this is translated, hold on, translated from the Japanese by, it always takes me a minute because this is a manga and it's backwards um, for me, um, just straight forward for everyone else. And it is translated from the Japanese by Anne Ishii. And this is the story of our, um, let me turn this around. Uh, this is the story of a dad and his single daughter who one day this man, Mike from Canada, comes and he was married to the father's brother in Canada and the brother has passed away. And both of these volumes deal with um, the idea of who your family is what you know, what you don't know, who you love. And what I love about it is it really focuses on the idea that the young girl, she just thinks of Mike as her uncle. And the love and appreciation that they have for one another goes beyond all bounds of social norm um, in the Japanese culture. And then it really makes the father sort of rethink what life is going to be like and how he wants to raise his daughter. Um, I adored it. I know a lot of people really adore it. And now that it's a two-volume set, um, I think this is all. I think it's only the two volumes. It's beautiful. The art is beautiful. The story is beautiful. And I highly recommend it if that is up your alley. So this is My Brother's Husband by Gringor Tagame. And um, this is out from Pantheon. It's worth it. I promise. Okay. The next one is out by a sister team of Kit and Kat Seton. This is Narrow Way. This is the first in a series. This is sort of a retelling of a um, Spanish myth. Um, at the beginning of this book, our young main character is promised sort of like her future prophecy is that she's going to marry this bull. And um, it turns out that he comes from a cursed family and she go goes on an adventure with him. And she's no nonsense. I love her independence. I love sort of how she stands up for herself, especially when the bull is a little bit... Um, brooding and used to getting his way. Um, she's not, she doesn't take any of that. So, and it's beautifully drawn too. And the story is really amazing. And there's a lot of stuff. I am, I want book two so bad because um, I want to know what's going to happen for them. So this is Narrow Way by Kit and Kat Seton. The book one, the Black Bull of Norway series. Yeah, definitely get it guys. Because I think you'll be attached to the character as much as I am. This is actually a really old graphic novel series that I'm going to tell you about now. But every time I see it on my shelf, I think it's really important to sort of remind people of some of the beautiful work that is out there. And this is the Wizard of Oz um, series put out by Marvel, illustrated by Scotty Young and Eric Shanower. And this is based on the Wizard of Oz, as you can tell. They have all of the books. Um, available. I'm just showing you guys sort of um, the very first one. They are 
gorgeous. And so for those of you that are looking for a different take on a classic story, and um, Scotty Young's art is just beautiful. So this is The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, the first of the Eisner award-winning Oz adaptations out by Marvel. And uh, again, Eric Schanauer and Scotty Young, based on The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. Um, my husband is a huge fan of Scotty Young's art, and he does a lot of comic book variant covers. And he also does a very adult series called Fairyland, which is actually very enjoyable, which you can get um, too if you like, if you have people who um, like a more adult version of the fairy world. Um, highly recommend Fairyland. So again, yeah, beautiful, beautiful editions, collectors, amazing. The next one is probably, I don't know if it's my favorite graphic novel, but it's up there that I've read this year, and that is Upgrade Soul. This is by Ezra Clayton Daniels. He is the author and the artist. This is a sci-fi take on what, what happens when science gets in the way of how long we live. We have an older couple who has been married, I want to say 50 years, and they decide to buy into a science program that will allow them to sort of restart their life. This is about all that that can go wrong in that series, um, in that uh, situation. Um, it's about the fact that just because the two same people meet each other at a different time, a different place, different circumstances, doesn't mean that they have the same relationship. It's about love. It's about loving the person that you've been with. It's amazing. Um, I really recommend it. It's a little darker um, than um, I usually would recommend in a graphic novel, but I found it really thought-provoking and interesting. Highly recommend. Upgrade Soul by Ezra Clayton Daniels for those um, people who like a really sophisticated uh, graphic novel. And the art is also really cool in this in a different, totally different way. Um, yeah, really like it. Really like it. So highly recommend. And last but not least in this series is going to be a graphic novel. For those of you who liked like um, the Walking Dead and like sort of that type of stuff, um, but also like a science fiction aspect of it all. Um, this is the new series called Oblivion Song, and this is by Robert Kirkman and Lorenzo Del Felici. Um, and this is, uh, Robert Kirkman is part of the Walking Dead um, creative group, I do believe. And Oblivion Song is about a world, our world, where one day this, um, I wanna say it's in Philadelphia, Philadelphia, 300,000 citizens disappear when this um, gap into a new world um, opens up. And this is the story of a man who is going into that world in order to find people who have been lost because he is searching for his brother. I don't want to say too much more because there is sort of a big twist at the end that is pretty cool. And um, the, the just like the idea of it is really cool. The world that is inside our world is pretty awesome. The art is really cool. I'm trying to find a good page to show you. Highly liked it. Edge of Your Seat thriller, super cool. First book out. And I think they're going to have the second book out probably sometime in 2019 as well. Um, but if you are also a single comic book person, you can buy those too. And this is Oblivion Song. This is out from Image. Oh, I should say, I'm sorry, Upgrade Soul is out from Lion Forge. So definitely um, there. Um, and this is out from Image really enjoyed this, really did. And so Oblivious Song by Robert Kirkman and Lorenzo de, de Felici for those uh, more adventure graphic novel readers in your life. So let's see if I can get this pile up with a dog on my lap. I do have young Blanche deciding to uh, sit here um, and show you these for your graphic novel reading. There you go. As always, if you are a return subscriber, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. If you are new to my channel, I hope some of these wind up on your Christmas list. I'm trying to get the, the manga turned around right. I had it backwards there. There you go. And as always, until next time, happy reading, and I'll see you tomorrow with another gift guide. Bye!